So last week I uh, had to call in sick one day and so while I was laying around I really do a couple of things. Either I watch welding videos on YouTube or I buy tools and uh, ended up buying some tools. So um, I decided it was time to up my game and get a water cooled torch for my TIG. So I uh, did a bunch of research and looked around and I decided on a CK uh, TIG torch. This is a number 20 torch so I'm excited about that. So I'll crack that open. I was thinking about making my own TIG cooler because I thought, oh, you know, I've welded tanks and things before, I could make that and get a little uh, pump and a small radiator. And then uh, I started looking around and I found this one on eBay for right around a couple hundred bucks. And I'm like, yeah, oh, you know what? Get it right out of the box. I won't have another half done project sitting around. So I'll go ahead and pick it up. So this is a, a water cooler um, import. I, th I think it was made in China. Uh, so I picked up one of those and it just showed up. So let's go ahead and pull it out and, and take a look at this thing and see what we got. So it's green, which is cool. Um, got uh, our, our fittings on the front, they're quick disconnect fittings on it. It's a 110 volt view. So honestly, it looks pretty nice. It came with a couple of things. Came with uh, some fittings um, and uh, a couple of pieces of hose, which are uh, pretty good. We're gonna need that because I need to adapt the uh, the quick connect fittings over to the threaded fittings that are on the the TIG torch, and then this adapter that I needed to put to my uh, Miller Dynasty. So I'll show you how I do all that. Um, Let's go ahead and crack open this torch here and take a look at that. So I went with a, uh, a CK number 20 torch. They have some where the head can swivel around and those look pretty cool, but uh, honestly, you know, with a, a short back cap on there, I'm usually able to get in most places I need to, so um, I didn't really feel like I needed that. And then uh, I got it with the super flex hose. It's pretty nice. This hose all right, let's go ahead and do the plumbing on this. So the problem that we have is the connections on these torches, while they're standard, they don't fit a lot of inverter machines and the water connections on the cooler that I picked up are quick connectors. So we need to adapt the connections to fit the quick coolers and also the electrical connection on my Miller Dynasty 200DX that I'm gonna be using this on. So I picked up this adapter right here that'll let us connect the red lead right here which has our wire and also the return cooling water coming out of the torch to our electrical connection on the Miller Dynasty or whatever other inverter you're using. You need to get the right plug for whichever machine you have. And then it has the standard threaded fitting on it, the 5 8 left hand thread fitting on there. So let's go ahead and connect this up first. So this adapter comes apart, so you can disconnect the hose off of it, and then it has a screw that holds this handle insulating shield on it, and you get this block right here. So it has your electrical connection that goes through here, and then the water bypasses through outside the port right there. So um, I'll thread these in. These are a left-hand thread, you can tell, because it has the grooves on the outside of it. So we'll thread that together and then tighten it up. So uh, I'll go ahead and put some links to the fittings that I'm using and, and other things so that uh, it may be helpful for you to, uh, to complete this yourself. So check out the description for some of that information. Okay. We'll put this back together and uh, put the nylon screw in place right there. Tighten that down. And then install the lead that goes to our water cooler. So if you haven't watched my videos before, my name's Tim and I'm a welding nerd and I uh, like to make, make welding videos. So it'd be awesome if you uh, liked this video and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss uh, any of my welding adventures that uh, I wanna share here. So we'll tighten that up and this is ready to go. 
Okay, next we need to adapt the water lines, which are a standard connection uh, to our quick connect fitting. So the water cooler itself came with these quick connect fittings that have barbs on them and it came with red and blue hoses to connect them to. So we can go ahead and adapt that. So the first thing I have is some uh, connectors I picked up online that have 5 8 left hand thread to a quarter inch male pipe thread. So I'll thread these on here. So I have one for the red line, which is the return water, and one for the blue line, which is the water to the torch um, coming out of the cooler. So we'll put those on. Next, I need to adapt it to a barb fitting to go to that hose, because that'll give me a little extra length and be the easiest way to adapt these. There's some other kind of adapters that adapt it all the way. Um, I'm using a barb fitting that has a male pipe thread along with a union just because that's what they had at the plumbing supply. But I'll put a link to one that would uh, connect it directly um, if you wanted to order one online. So uh, you can do that. So these thread like that. And um, once I tighten that up, I'll be able to connect it to the hose. Okay, so those are adapted to my barb fitting that'll go on my hoses. And uh, I forgot to mention I used a little bit of Teflon tape on the pipe threads here, but uh, it's not necessary on the thread going from the torch into this adapter since it has a different kind of sealing uh, seat inside. Okay, so to connect the hoses to the water cooler, I'm gonna just slide my barb fittings in one end like that and put a hose clamp on right here then tighten them up okay then I'll cut the hoses to length now I have the hoses cut to length I'll go ahead and put a hose clamp on and uh, insert my barb fitting right here and tighten it down All right, so that's pretty much it. Now I can connect my TIG torch to my welding power supply, the argon line that comes out of the power supply itself, and the TIG cooler. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, we're All right, so I got everything hooked up and it seems to be uh, set up all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the three leads every about a foot with uh, some of this rubber electrical tape that uh, it really only sticks to itself um, just to keep everything contained. I may get a sleeve, you can get a sleeve that goes over these as well. I might get one of those in the future. Also, I picked up this little consumable kit on Amazon that seems to be pretty uh, comprehensive. I'm not sure how good the quality is, but we'll give it a try. It gives me something to get started since I didn't have any accessories for a number nine torch. So it came with some cups, uh, both the standard pink ones and some clear Pyrex ones, as well as some gas lenses, back caps, collets. So we'll get started with that. We'll give it a try and see how it is. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. We'll uh, see you next time. If you have any questions, be sure to post them below.